The placement of a tweeter is very important and that doesn't matter whether you're building a speaker or buying a speaker. Where that tweeter placement is not only can dictate the sound quality that you can get out of it, but also dictate whether or not you want to utilize that particular speaker in the place that you want to use it. And so today we're going to take a look at a couple different tweeter placements and show you some of the pros and cons of each. That way you can make a determination on what type of tweeter placement you'd be looking for, whether you build or buy. There's two different ways that we typically see a tweeter. We can see it directly centered, and that would be aligned perfectly in the center with like say a mid-range or a woofer, or maybe even a mid-range and a woofer if it's a three-way. Uh, that means that the it is equidistant from either side, the right-hand side and a left-hand side. So directly in the center of the baffle via the left and the right-hand side. Now, there's also offset, and offset would be exactly what it sounds like. So instead of being on that direct center line, it would actually be a little to the right or a little to the left of that center line. Now, there are reasons uh, why we do this. One, a lot of people will point at aesthetics. And yeah, there are aesthetic reasons why you might want to offset a tweeter. But it goes beyond aesthetics. It does actually have uh, some benefits to uh, the uh, sound quality that you can get off of it. Now, if any of you guys have uh, seen, I recently posted a video on diffraction. Uh, I would definitely take a look at that if you're not familiar with what diffraction is. Now the reason why someone would offset a tweeter is to minimize that diffraction. Now it's really important to understand why an offset tweeter can minimize diffraction because there are some speakers that offset the tweeter and well, it doesn't necessarily minimize diffraction. So let's kind of explain why that is. Uh, Every uh, frequency has a length associated with it. When a tweeter is directly centered in the baffle, we have a wavelength that's equidistant on the right-hand side and the left-hand side. Now, when it hits that edge, it diffracts. And when it diffracts, it creates abnormalities at that frequency in the frequency response. So by offsetting the tweeter, bringing it to the right-hand side or the left-hand side a little bit, what we can do is change the frequency at which it diffracts on both sides, the right and left hand side. Now why is it important to understand that? It's important to understand that because unfortunately there are some speakers that I've seen that have offset the tweeter to the right hand side and done a great job of getting rid of that diffraction on the left hand side and the right hand side, but they've actually made the same distance from the top to bottom with either left hand side or right hand side. And that really negates the whole point of offsetting a tweeter. So be careful. If you're going to offset that tweeter, it should be three different uh, distances from the top to the left and to the right. And why we're doing this is because we're trying to create three different frequencies at which it's diffracting in. Because the more times it diffracts at that same frequency, that diffraction will be much more pronounced in the final frequency response. And that is something that you can't EQ out because as you go right and left, that diffraction will have abnormalities at that frequency response no matter what. And so that's why we offset a tweeter. Unfortunately, there are drawbacks to offsetting a tweeter. And this mainly comes from our polar response. So if you're familiar with the polar response, what it is is uh, as we go off axis of our speaker, our speaker no longer plays the same frequency. So for example, if our frequency is identically flat all the way across, okay? We'll just say a straight line from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. As we start going to the right or to the left of it, it starts to tow down. Now it's gonna depend how far off we are off axis of that speaker or that particular driver. So if we have a speaker with a tweeter directly in the center, with the mid-range directly in the center, and we go off to the right-hand side of it, say three feet, if we go off to the left-hand side three feet, that frequency response is going to be identical. So if we were to take one of the speakers with the tweeter directly in the center, cut it in half, and do a polar response on the right-hand side, it should be a perfect overlay on the left-hand side, meaning that we don't even have to take a measurement of the left-hand side. Now that's really good if you're gonna put a speaker directly in a room and you want a wide coverage like a, a, an area that you want covered both on the right-hand side, the left-hand side, and the center. Think of like a home theater with multiple seats. Uh, that centered tweeter is really nice to have because you have that same coverage on both axes. Now, an offset tweeter is not going to be the case. And that's because your tweeter is offset. And because of that, 
if you're on the right hand side, you're only going to be so many degrees off of it. But on the left hand side, if the tweeter's opposite, is you're going to be completely different. Meaning that uh, three feet on the right might have a real slight dip and three feet on the left might have a really narrow dip. It's going to be completely different. And so a lot of times if we're trying to put this in a room with an offset tweeter, we're looking more for a one seat tune oftentimes. Um, now there are obviously exceptions to every rule, uh, but I like offset tweeters, especially for near field monitors where you're only really trying to get one seat, like a computer monitor. The overnight sensations are a perfect example of what works really well with an offset tweeter. They, they offset the tweeter and it's designed for a near field monitor, but it's not gonna do quite as well typically of giving you that real nice wide off axis dispersion to cover all of your seating area. So although you can get a little bit better on axis frequency response with an offset tweeter, the off axis frequency response does suffer. And this is where you're gonna to have to make a decision on what's more important to you. Is the on axis frequency response a little bit better? Make it a lot better in your opinion based on your use case. Or is getting a much wider range of seating, of environment, more important to you? And if so, then you're gonna to wanna to look for one of those tweeters that is directly centered on the baffle. Now, of course, this is just some of the reasons why you might wanna go with a centered or offset tweeter. I'm gonna say that you guys probably have some other opinions on this matter and other ideas of why someone might wanna go with a different tweeter arrangement. What I want you to do is put that down in the comment section below. Let people read those so that they can learn as well. As with this hobby, we should all be learning. And because of that, I'm gonna be at the speaker design competition at Parts Express. If you want to learn a little bit more about designing speakers or talk to just other people that are designing speakers and you just want to you know talk shop with them this is the perfect opportunity to do that it doesn't cost anything it's free to go to and I will be there I'd be happy to talk with you in fact I'd love to do it all right guys this is Toyd's DIY audio if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with all your speaker building and speaker enthusiast pals thanks guys Toyd's DIY audio and I'm out